everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to my fourth vlog in the Confident Capsule Collection wardrobe um, series which is where I talk to you about my journey going through the Confident Capsule Collection dressmaking course run by Sew Confident. As you know, I'm brand ambassador for Sew Confident and I have been doing this online course where you get all fabrics, notions and patterns to create yourself your own capsule wardrobe. So if you want to check out um, the overview of the course, um, I have a whole vlog series which I'll link up here and I do a vlog on every single item of clothing that I make. There's seven garments and we're on garment three. In fact, garment four was last night. Um, so yeah, it's, I'm really, really enjoying it and I'm loving sharing um, the experience as we go. So, this week, or last week, um, was the Rona wrap skirt. So this is the Rona wrap skirt by Style Art Patterns. All of the patterns are Style Art. And this skirt, I really, really think it's a lovely, lovely skirt. Now, I don't really like skirts. You'll know if you check on my Instagram. I think I've made one skirt in the past and yeah, I don't think I've ever worn it since I've made it. And that was a ruby skirt by Sew Over It, which is a lovely skirt, but they're just, I just don't reach for them. I don't have many skirts in my wardrobe. Any skirts that I do have, I don't remember the last time I wore one. So it really isn't something that I wear now whether that's because I haven't found the right, right style for me yet I don't know but this is why I'm keen to try them so the Rona wrap skirt is a faux wrap skirt um, it's calf length it's pull on it's got elasticated waist at the back which we all love a bit of elasticated waist and um, the tie feature is just faux as I said um, it's suitable for woven or knit fabric. That's interesting. I know Style Art tend to do this quite a lot, so I didn't know I could do it with a knit fabric, which is quite interesting. So it says rayon silk, fine wool, or even jersey knit, and you need some elastic for it. So I made the size 12. And this was um, one of the makes that I didn't actually do the sew along. I had a, I think I was working late that night, so I wasn't able to make the sew along. But I did watch it on record, which was really, really interesting. Now, this is the second time that I've had to watch the recorded live um, and it really annoys me because I do have FOMO. As I said before in my last vlog when I did the re-sweatshirt, I kept going to ask questions, etc., which is a bit annoying. The good thing about it is you can rewind and fast forward and stuff and skip, so that is a positive of it. But it was really, really nice to um, have that for company when I was sewing this. Now, um, the lives are at half six UK time every Thursday. So um, today's Friday. So I did the, the last night I did the sew along for the Blair shirt, which is another style art pattern um, and didn't manage to get it all finished off, but pretty much good, good chunk of it done last night. So I'll be able to go along and check the, um, check the recording when it's uploaded later and be able to carry on with that. Um, but anyway, back to the skirt. So I've got some pictures of me wearing this. Now, I'm not actually wearing it now. Um, and to be honest with you, it's because I don't feel comfortable in it. I'll be really honest. So this is the skirt. Now, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this pattern. I just don't like it on me. I'll put some pictures in because I have took pictures in it. I just think it accentuates my mum tum. I have had three children. I um, like my sweet treats. And I have that little muffin top that a lot of us talk about as mums and um yeah this really accentuates it i feel i don't know if it's a combination of the um fact it's a flat fronted waist i think i tend to find now if it's a flat front it does accentuate that um and obviously you don't want to have anything covering that because you've got this lovely tie detail um so yeah i'm just the jewelry's out on it really for me maybe if i lose a bit of weight i would feel more comfortable in it but at the moment it's i know i probably won't reach for this which is such a shame because it's such a lovely skirt um it's quite an easy sew to make um it's got this let me take it off the hanger so it's got the um lines of elastic in the back there i used a zigzag stitch um and it's just folded over and then you've got this faux wrap bit here, which is quite an interesting, um, clever 
construction um, and then it ties at the side like this and gives that faux wrap look I did have a little bit of trouble with my hem here it's a bit um, skewed I think it just needs a bit of a press to be honest with you um, but I think because I knew this probably isn't going to be in my wardrobe I'll be perfectly honest I probably didn't um, give it the care and attention it probably needed really um, which is a shame um, because I feel like I've just gone through the motions to make this really but I don't know I do have things in my wardrobe that I make that I don't like necessarily and then the more I wear it or reach for it or try it and style it I find I like it maybe this with the re-sweatshirt might look nice the re-sweatshirt's in the wash at the moment but maybe covering that that um, bit that I'm a bit conscious about at the top will will um, help me you know perhaps wear this so I'm not going to throw it away it will be something that stays in my wardrobe it will be something that as I continue to lose weight I'll see how I feel in it um, but yeah just at the moment I don't feel great in it um, this fabric is a lovely um, chalet fabric which I really really liked um, it's a lovely colour um, and it was nice working with a plane because I don't work with planes very often. Um, and yeah, I think overall it's a lovely, lovely pattern. I am really loving style art patterns, I have to say. Yes, they are a bit of a head scratcher sometimes, but they are very, very clever. And um, I'm not going to be scared of them anymore because there's always, as Jenny says, what would a cave woman do? If you didn't have any instructions, you would figure it out. And I think that's what um is a great piece of advice and something that i've been using whenever i've been head scratching in anything that i'm making really because it's not just style art patterns you can just have you know normal independent patterns or big four patterns where you sometimes scratch your head because you don't really know what's going on with it but yeah i'm really happy that this course is making me feel a lot braver in my sewing journey um and i'm loving the sense of community as well so so it's a medium make which i would agree it is medium because there are some techniques there there's um obviously you've got a facing you've got the elasticated waist and then you've got this kind of bit here um which is a little bit different to a normal skirt that you'd make but yeah i, I if you like a skirt this is a lovely skirt and there's been some fab fabulous ones that I've seen made up of it. But as I say, it's probably just not for me. But, you know, I've tried it and I'm going to hang on to it. So a very, very quick vlog um, for me on this one this week. Um, next week it will be the Blair shirt by Style Art Patterns. I'll put a little picture up and I'm very, very excited. A little sneak peek of the fabric for that is this beautiful um, mustard colour double gauze with these gold little specks on it, which... We all know I love the mustard colour, so I'm very, very excited to get this Blair shirt made up. Um, it's not quite done yet, but I've got a few days left before I need to film my next vlog. So that's all for me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this quick vlog, and I'll see you all soon. Happy sewing. Bye.